Now focusing on page eight, the last page of this publication to show you audio. Uh, it is possible to import audio into your InDesign layout. So if I go to file and place back in our main links folder, there is an MP3. That is the audio file format to choose. InDesign prefers MP3. If I leave on the checkbox for show import options and click on open, there are none. And that's the same for video content as well. Uh, but then we're given this sort of little uh, cursor icon and a speaker symbol. And from here, if I just click and hold down the mouse and drag out, I can drag that and add that to the page. Now, there's nothing to see visibly at the moment when you're editing in your layout, but we just need somewhere to be able to click on it and activate it. From here, we need a panel that we can't see on screen. And that is window, interactive and media. And then it detects the selected object and it knows that it's audio. So you, if you wish to, you could click on play. You could play a preview of that. Um, and, um, and also from here, you can choose to mute it as well. We definitely don't want to do that. Uh, under options, play on page load. I would say that's never a good thing. You want to be able to try to give your audience the opportunity to play it if they wish to or to stop it. Um, stop on page turn. Yep, I'll always turn that one on because well, it might not have any relevance that audio if you go to another page and that other page might also have audio of its own. We definitely don't want to loop it. And then in terms of poster frame, that means what will this look like in the interactive document in the finished thing? So poster, you've got non standard or choose an image. If you wish to, you could pick choose an image. I will say that if you choose none, that will still show something but I do have a workaround for that. So my personal preference is I don't want it visible. I don't need it anywhere in my layout, so I choose none. Uh, and then from here, well, I'm going to just tuck my media panel at the side of the hyperlinks so it's easy to find again. And then let's zoom into our buttons across the top. And now, first of all, click on the play button. This has been formatted already. All we need to do in here is go to actions, click on the plus, and you're looking for something simply called sound. When that is triggered, then you'll notice it detects any MP3s in this current page, and then it's given us the option to play. So you do have play, stop, pause and resume. And then I'll click on the pause button to make it active. And from here, the only thing we need to do is click on the action. Again, that will be sound, but this time the option will be pause. So I'll just go to a uh, view and fit page in window, and then we can preview it. So I'll click on play, page loads up. Notice that we have a poster in here, so we don't want it and InDesign will still show one for us. Um, so you can click on play. That plays the audio. You might not be able to hear it from, from my microphone here. And then I can choose pause. If I go back to play, it restarts the audio. So let me just click on pause, come out of the previewer. If I go back to the play button, instead of choosing play, I would suggest you might be better off choosing resume. And then if I click back on the player, activate that again, click on play, that plays it from the start. If I choose pause and then go back and click on play, it continues where it left off. So this leaves us with one uh, challenge in here, which is this thing that's visible on screen. So I'm going to click away from here, hover over and left click on that item, and then just zoom into this region. Now, even though it's not a button, it is still an interactive element. So you can make this smaller. So if I just make it a touch smaller inside of here, like so, and if I just put it up towards the top of the page, then going to go and pick up my rectangle tool and then click and drag and draw a rectangle over that region. And I want to make sure that the fill color is black to match the background and it will then conceal that. But only once we've got it selected, if you turn that also into a button. Now we don't want anything about that to be interactive but you have to turn that shape into a button so it appears in front of the audio button in there and that post that it displays for us. Frustrating, I know. You can't even move the audio element off the side of the page because then it won't be included in the final publication. So click away, go back to the previewer, click on play, 
And then here, notice that the it's not visible. Press play, pause, and resume. And then we get what we need. It's just a little bit frustrating that we have to go through that little bit of work to get that to disappear on screen. But that's the problem and that's how you solve it. So that is how you add audio inside of InDesign.